Hey, Scott here, Scotty's Animals. Today is the day. Today is the day that my fosters, Carrot and Broccoli, are going to meet their new mama. These guys are so cute. <laughs> Hey, it's Scotty. Thank you for watching this video. This is about my fosters, Broccoli and Carrot, who I saved, who I rescued, who ended up going with Tim and Carol, who are have now infamously, they're known as the Las Vegas Hoarders. Everything seemed right with them. Everything they reached out to me after seeing a video of my boys and they said all the right things and they had the right cage and they drove over a hundred miles to meet me and to adopt them and they seemed like they were good piggy parents and maybe they were and I don't know what happened but we're gonna go back into the Scotty's Animals archive and I'm gonna show you what happened? It breaks my heart to think that my boys went there and I don't know, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened to them. I know that one of them passed within a year or so of being there. And I don't know what happened to the other one. And I've been facilitating adoptions through the Los Angeles Guinea Pig Rescue for over 10 years. I facilitated literally a thousand plus adoptions. We talk to people, we ask to see the cage that they have. We make sure that if they are in a situation where they can't care for the animals anymore, that they know that they can give them back, that they have to give them back. What are the signs that I missed? Did I miss something? Did I do right by my boys? Or did I doom them to an even worse fate than from when I rescued them? I'd really love to know what you think so that we can learn from this experience. What an incredible story. After the video of Carrot and Broccoli, Carol from Las Vegas she reached out to me and she said, you know what, I've fallen in love with these boys. She said, I don't care what it takes, I want these boys. And so she has driven all the way from Vegas to meet me. So she's gonna meet me in Palm Springs and she's gonna pick up these boys and they're gonna go back home. So they get to meet their new mama today. So there's Tim and Carol. And there's Carrot and Broccoli. And this is their new family. So, what a happy ending. All right, we're gonna chit chat and we'll uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Well, here's some pictures of the boys. Carol couldn't wait to start snapping pictures before they even got home. She's so in love with them. Check out their new house. It's a massive CNC cage. And she said that when she put them in, they were popcorning all over the place. I wanted to read the message that Carol sent. Hi, Scotty. Broccoli pie and carrot cake are loving Las Vegas. They're the sweetest boys. My other boys are quite fascinated with them. 
I haven't actually let them next to each other yet. My hamster, Tiny Tim, gets so excited when he sees broccoli and carrot. I keep his cage where they can look at each other. He has a really large cage for a hamster. He even has a balcony. He's enjoying sitting up on his loft watching them. These two boys are so calm. I can't thank you enough for choosing me to be their mom. Love, Carol. So they're going to be in a room with another pair of boys and a new sister. And so they will always have some piggies to chat with. And I'm just really happy for the whole family. Thanks, Carol. That was really upsetting to watch, to remember, and to relive. And I hope that I can somehow learn from this experience. And I promise that it's not all bad news. It's not going to be all bad news. It's important that we stay informed about the situation. You've heard me say this a number of times, that rescue is about turning a bad situation into a good one. And what breaks my heart is that I took them out of a bad situation and maybe I put them in a worse situation. I still don't know if they were well cared for and then something happened along the way. This was four years ago. So I don't know. They seemed like such nice and caring people. I just don't know what happened. There have been some happy endings for some of these piggies, for most of them. But for the many that didn't make it, I just, I hope, I hope you will keep them in your thoughts, pray for them, but even more, this is a wake up call. Whatever you think you can do to help the animals in your community, it's time to redouble our efforts, all of us, and just keep on the path. It's this hard emotional work. It's not for everybody, but this is the world we live in. We don't live in a perfect world. We live in a world that has a lot of problems. And you can either sit back and do nothing because it's too emotionally taxing, or you can be a force for good. And I hope that, because I've been inspired to be a force for good, I hope that you will also be inspired to be a force for good. There's a saying that says, it takes a community to build a barn and only one person to burn it down. Well, that may be true, but I've seen the inverse effect where just one person can turn a whole bad situation around. And if we work together, we can do that on a larger and larger scale. So I'm really grateful for you being a part of this community that we have that care about animals and help those that also care, that are doing the work. And we are making a difference. I get emails every day. So if you've got if you need help, I've got a contact page on my website, or if you just want to share a positive story with me, because I do get lots of emails of people asking for help. And man, that one in 10 email that is relaying a positive story, that keeps me going. So please, if you've got one of those, send it, because I need them. All right, guys, please stay tuned. There is going to be a happy ending video coming soon. So I hope you will hit that bell, hit that subscribe. And until next time, thanks for watching.